Oh my. Look at the cross thing there. Cheese. Let's have a try. What up guys, this is Sydney Food Boy. It's currently day like a hundred and something of the lockdown that's happening in Sydney right now, the COVID lockdown. I haven't been able to get out and film much, but I have something pretty fun planned for today. Today we're gonna try and make some uh, smashed burgers. See how we go. Alrighty, so shout out to my guy Chebo. If you don't know who Chebo is, he's just a little bit famous on TikTok, you know. He's a young fella who had this dream to start a burger business, uh, particularly Smash Burgers. And he started uploading all these videos on TikTok and they blew up, man. He's a bit of a, he's a, bit of a folklore, you know, a bit of a legend in Sydney. So. Good luck, man. Let's open it up. Okay, got a little bit of a card here. Chebo's Burgers, Battle of the Sources. I think this particular burger kit is uh, to create something called an Aussie burger. So think about like a normal burger, but you've got things like beetroot and pineapple to give it an, an extra level of sweetness there to it. It's kind of funny because when I, when I went overseas, I never saw burgers with beetroot in it. I reckon that's true. It's probably just an Australian thing, but when I was growing up and eating burgers from the school canteen and the local tuck shop, um, a beef burger, a lot of the time would have beetroot and I love beetroot, man. So props to that. Yeah, got some lettuce. Some onion, we've got some tomato, pineapple here. All right, got some beetroot. Got a couple sauces here. This one looks interesting. Spicy jalapeno sauce. I think I'll try that one. This looks like cheese. And we've got some burger patties. Thanks, Chabo. Oh, also got one of these bad boys here. If you don't know what this is, this is a burger smasher or a patty smasher. It's quite heavy, man. I don't know how to use it. I've only watched videos um, on uh, YouTube and TikTok, but let's see how we go. Look at these buns, man. Look how clean they are. I believe it's quite important to have really good quality uh, beef meat when you're cooking burgers. And I think from what I've heard, you need at least like 20% fat um, in the burger to give it a lot of flavor. So try to remember that. We've got all of our salads here ready to go. Onion, tomato, beetroot, pineapple, lettuce. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil. I'm not sure if you need oil, but just a little bit should be okay, eh? All right, let's do this. Ooh, you guys hear that? All right, first try. Oh. Hey, this is hard work, man. I thought got it the wrong shape. Ooh. Apparently you put this on top like that just to steam it. It's gonna get a smidgen like this. Bit of lettuce, pineapple, beetroot, tomato, some onions like that. I'm gonna take one of our smash patties and put it on top. On top like that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad? Dude, I actually did a good job. Ooh, wow. We're gonna cook the onions now. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Let's go. Stop. Wow, that's a lot better than mine. So I've had people tell me to leave it until it goes like really dark on the back surface and then flip it and then you put the cheese on top. Oh, nice. Cheese. Nice. Mm. 
Nice. Dude, that's actually so fun to make, man. <laughs> Question. I'm not sure if I got the burger order right. So all you burger purists out there, are the patties supposed to go on top or underneath all the salad? I feel like it should be on top um, just because it's a bit easier the way you do things. But you tell me, let me know. Anyway, sausage burger, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. Oh, that's crazy, man. I can't believe I did that by myself. Oh my. Look at the crusting there. Cheese. Shout out Chebo, man. Thank you. Let's have a try. Mmm. Mmm. Dude. I love a good Aussie burger, man. Yeah, look at this. You've got the double meat patty there with the cheese, melted American cheese on top. And then you've got the beetroot there and pineapple behind it. It's just like a really, really good burger. But with a little bit of sweetness from the, the pineapple and the beetroot, it just makes so much difference, man. Like, this is the type of burger you want to be eating when you're sitting on a beach. Um, once lockdown's over, but sitting on a beach, you know, just looking at the waves. I like the jalapeno sauce that we tried as well. That's, um, that's a really nice kick to it. It's a really good burger. That is a really good burger. <laughs> Man, just, just look at that. You can see just dripping down my hand that um, beetroot and the pineapple juice. Not too much though, but wow, that's awesome. Mmm. Might get a little bit of extra sauce there. This sauce is really good. Try that. Mmm. Spicy jalapeno, good. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. For everyone in Sydney, I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope you're keeping safe in this really tough situation that we have at the moment. Hopefully I'll be getting to make more videos soon. Let's see how we go. Thanks guys, appreciate you guys.